Hey all, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time seeing me or hearing me, I want to welcome you. My name is Eileen. I'm the owner of Veer Up, which is an HR career consultants firm. We specialize in helping anyone who is looking for a job or if you're trying to change your career, we help you with updating your resume and helping you prepare for the job interview. So today I want to talk about 10 interview mistakes that you want to avoid. But before we get started, please, please subscribe to my channel. Okay, so like I said, there are 10 mistakes that you want to avoid when you're interviewing. Number one, you don't bring a copy of your resume to the interview. That is so important because you never know who's going to be there. Sometimes they bring a copy and sometimes they think you may have a copy. But you definitely want to bring like three or four, one for yourself and whoever else may need one. And the second thing is you don't want to forget to bring a notebook and something to write with. I see this all the time when I conduct interviews and I see that the applicant's not writing anything down. To me, that shows that they're not prepared. Because when you're writing things down during the interview, you want to write down all the important facts that they told you. And you want to be able to recall those things when you are writing your thank you note. Number three. When the interviewer asks you, do you have any questions, and you say no, that is a red flag. You want to make sure that you have some questions to ask, because if you don't, it looks like you really are not engaged or you really are not interested in that position. So make sure you have some questions. Number four, make sure you ask what are the next steps because you need to know how long should you wait before you contact someone. So definitely find out where you are in the process. And Number how- five, make sure you bring a small bottle of water. Because a lot of times during the interviewing process, you are going to be the one doing most of the talking. And sometimes when you talk a lot, your mouth gets dry and it makes it harder for you to to express your point. So make sure you have some water. Typically, they will ask you if you need any water, but if they don't, you always have your own. Number six is a big one. Do not say anything negative about your past or present employer, no matter how bad it is. Because what happens if you do, it makes you look bad, not the company. So simply say, if they ask you, why are you leaving? Even though in your mind, you know, because your boss is horrible, don't say that. You want to say something about you are looking for at a company where you can see yourself growing. Number seven is arriving late. This is a big no-no because what it does, if you're late for an interview, they're going to think that you're either not serious about this position or this is what they will expect if they were to hire you because you need to make sure that you're either on time or a few minutes before because the employer would think that if you didn't put your best foot forward for the interview and you were late, you're probably going to be an employee who's going to be late. So definitely make sure that you're either 15 minutes early, but not too early. But then I tell my clients, if they're driving somewhere where they've never been before, The best thing to do is drive a few days before your interview just so you can feel how long it takes you to get there. And number eight, not preparing for the interview. You need some time to prep. Like I tell my clients, if they haven't interviewed in a while, they need to take at least three days to prep because you really have to prepare for the interview. Interviewing is like a performance. You don't just wing it. Just like Broadway stars, they don't just go out there and just give it their best shot. They prepare. So you need to do the same thing for an interview. You have to prepare to put your best foot forward. Number nine, not showing any enthusiasm for the job. That's a big one. So if you go in there with a very low energy, they are going to think that you are not excited about this job and they want to hire someone who has the higher energy level for any position. So preparing will help you to boost your energy for the interview. Now don't make it too high where it's unbelievable and they might think that you may be on something, but definitely have a, a level of high energy when you interview. Mistake 
number nine, when you share personal information about yourself, never, ever good during an interview. Now, let me give you an example. If the interviewer asks you, where do you see yourself in five years? You don't want to say, oh, I see myself married with three kids. That's not what they're asking. Even if that's true, keep that to yourself. We're not going to lie. But what they want is a professional So you want to say something about you hope to be in a management role and working for a company just like this. So it has to be related to your career and your career goals. Number 10, make sure you turn your phones off. When you are interviewing, nothing is more annoying when you hear someone's phone dinging because of text messages or email. Those are my 10 interview mistakes you want to avoid. Pretty simple, right? Can you think of anything that I left out? Please leave your comments in the comments section. So please, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want great content about interviewing as well as career advice and also how to navigate the workplace. Until next time, I will see you later. Bye.